Today's video is a bit of a different one. If you're used to my videos on tax or business, crypto, NFTs, that's not what today's video is about. So jump on to one of my other videos if you're more interested in those topics. But today I wanna to talk about the biggest challenge that I've faced professionally and I'm dealing with right now. This came about today, I listened to an episode of a podcast I love, The Imperfects by Hugh Van Kylenberg. And his guest today was Hamish Blake. And he talked about self-doubt and it really hit home for me about some of the self-doubt I'm having at the moment who I've had through my career and probably will continue to have. And I really realized that self-doubt is normal. So I want to talk about that. I want to you know, put it out there and explain how I'm feeling about things. And I think it does have some key lessons that people can take into investing or into business about conviction, patience, and self-doubt and how all these things combine to sometimes cause some real struggles, but also can be used to further where you want to get. The first one I want to talk about is self-doubt. And that's something I'm struggling with at the moment. It's that self-doubt of is what I'm doing good enough or is it intriguing enough or is it connecting with people? This is definitely risen through my NFT project more than what I've ever faced in any other aspects of my business. So my NFT project started really well, I had 20 sales in the first week, things were going really well. Week two only sold three. And I know that it has value and I feel like I've put a lot of time into it, but it's been a lot of self-reflection to go and that doubt starts to creep in as well. Did this really connect with other people? Was it too complex? Does it not provide value? Is it really what people are after? Did I innovate enough? And you start to question all these things in your own head and start to go, well, do people really, and then it evolves further than just that. And you start to go, well, do people really care about me as a person or are they just here for the educational knowledge? And that's fine. Some people may just want that educational knowledge and that's that's an acceptance that I have to have at the moment. I'm building an audience and building a reputation of trying to provide value to people, but people may not connect with me personally. That's nothing against me. It's just they may want to learn the information, take it and go. And that's perfectly fine. And that's why I'm doing YouTube is to provide value to people. And I'm not always going to connect with people on those levels. And there is a big difference in providing value for free and asking someone to obviously put their hard earned money down on the line. And that's obviously what this NFT project will require from people. They're going to have to pay for something. And you do, you start to have that self-doubt creeping as to, well, you know, is what I'm offering or is me as a person really that interesting? And I think that's when I really realized that or oh, everyone has self-doubt. And listening to Hamish talk about it, you know, he's a successful comedian. He seems like the most confident person in the world. And to have that realization that he has self-doubt himself creep in, it did make me go, well, that's a normal thing. And how can I turn that self-doubt into conviction? And that's when I kind of thought, linked the two together and thought self-doubt how about I take that self-doubt, I embrace that self-doubt and I turn that into conviction to further what I'm trying to achieve and conviction's a big thing that Gary Vee talks about in his recent book, 12 and a Half. Conviction's one of those traits that he thinks are really important and I realize that you can have self-doubt and conviction and it's about turning things that you maybe have self-doubt into, doubling down on them and going, no, I, I do have conviction in what I'm doing and that's what I'm trying to achieve and going, well, I am committed to my NFT project, I am committed to my business, and going, well, I'm committed, I've got the conviction, where's that self-doubt coming from? Let's you know, recognize that self-doubt, but then go, no, nope, I wanna double down on that, I'm, I'm committed to it, and therefore I'm convicted by it, and I'm going to make it work, and I'm going to show people that it's value, and it doesn't matter if I don't sell another one for 12 months, that I've got people that have supported, so it has connected with people, work on connecting with those people, providing value and continuously doing good things and trying to be a good person and continue to create that content. And I think that will show that I'm convicted and hopefully that will squash some of that self-doubt. And then the other side to this is the patient side of things. And I, I tell people to be patient and then sometimes I have to query myself, am I actually being patient myself? And it is in two things, is that one, we have these crazy goals that we sometimes set ourselves and these are gonna take time. So I'm building an audience from scratch I've never been the most outgoing person. I haven't got huge friends lists on Facebook. I've never had huge social connections or anything like that. So I was literally starting from scratch. Had some family support and a couple close friends, but that's it. I was starting from a, such a small basis. And you know, I now have over 2000 subscribers here on YouTube and I'm so, you know, so grateful for every single one of you who've watched, even if it's 10 seconds of a video, I appreciate that. But to try and launch an NFT project where I was trying to sell 1200, I need to have that understanding that patience, it's not gonna happen overnight. And 
you know, it's going to take time before people were willing to pay for these things, even though I may be providing value. And I've learned that through my business that, you know, I was looking at some figures earlier and in this financial year, I'm going to have done five times profit what I did the year before. And like that's, you know, I made, I'm probably still not even earning what I would have earned from a full-time job, but that has been a patient journey over two and a half years to get to that stage. And I've keep telling myself I've got to be patient and sometimes I'm not practicing that. And I'm like, well, you know, I, I recognize myself that I'm not going to sell out a project overnight. So I do have to be patient. And again, I come back to these, you know, I look up to these certain people and Gary Vee talks about it in his book about patience. And that's one thing he's big on. And I've got to keep reminding myself, this is a 50 year journey, not a 50 day journey. And you learn from these things. So I think these three things are that self-doubt, conviction, and patience, and all those things mixed in together. It definitely brings some challenges, but I'm really trying to turn those challenges into positives. So my reason for doing this video is I was really struggling on a topic and it just hit me that, well, why not talk about some of those struggles that I'm having and some of those doubts that I'm having and I think you can utilize these things in a range of things. So if you're investing, you need to have conviction in what you're investing in. You know, you may have that self-doubt that you're a little bit unsure or you're new to something, but giving it a go and being convicted and backing that in and then having the patience that it's going to be a long-term approach. You're not going to get rich overnight. Or if you're starting a business, I think that's, you know, you have to have patience. My business has shown me how patient you need to be. But you definitely have to be convicted and you have to have that conviction that what you're doing is going to work. It does provide value because you will have doubt creeping at times like I'm having today, but you need to have that conviction that what you're doing is actually valuable because if you don't believe in it, why would someone else believe in you? And then to bring these things into a life point of view, we have self-doubt in a range of areas in our lives, lots of different challenges, but having that conviction that you're trying to be a good person, trying to do the right things, aiming for healthiness and happiness and you know providing value to others and being there for others is what is really important. And there's going to be things in life you have to be patient with. That's the reality. So I know it's a bit of a change up from video. And like I said, if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. And the one thing I'm asking and I'm trying to ask more people for is more feedback is what more can I do for you as an audience you know, is it providing, is there topics you want me to cover on YouTube? Do you want me to talk about this kind of stuff, challenges I'm going through? Is there social media platforms you want to see me produce more content for? Do you not understand how the NFT project works? Like, have you got questions around that? Have you got questions around how accounting service, like all these things, I just want feedback. The more feedback I get, the better. But I appreciate you sticking through this bit of a different video. Um, obviously go and check out some of the other content on my channel and I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button or just leave a comment. The comments just to, you know, touch base, say hey, I'll say hey back. Appreciate that and I'll talk to you again on the next video. Thank you.